Hi everyone and welcome to the latest quick video. My name is Michelle Kaira, I am the founder and head coach for Fit Mama Fitness and I am answering some questions that I get from my clients. Um, I'm based in Vancouver and I see Fit Mama clients here for um, on a class basis and often I get questions thrown to me during the session and I thought I would put them all into one place on YouTube and um, hopefully if you've got the same question that these will be answered. Um, the question I'm going to answer today is what should I do in terms of my fitness schedule? How do I plan a fitness schedule? Um, and this is all around um, having a baby and getting into a fitness routine. Okay, so basically there are two ways that I, that I would suggest that you do this. The first one is you have to accept by fact that you do have time in the week. There, there is time in your week to do fitness sessions. That's a fact, okay? So um, I know a lot of busy people, myself included, and you can still carve out time in your day and in your week. So you need to accept that. And if you're sitting there and you think, ha, she doesn't have a clue what my life's like, well, that's fine. What I would say back to you is, Sit down with your schedule, sit down with your diary, sit down with your timetable, whatever you call it and whatever you want to reference and start to work through absolutely logically. What is it that I do all day, every day and where can I carve out some time? So Fit Mama, the online programs, we have de developed and designed um, three different workouts and that's it. That's the secret sauce. Um, I know for a fact there are personal trainers, and myself included, that we have hundreds of workouts available. And there are some um, YouTube channels you can go on and you can have, you know, thousands of different varieties that you can be doing. Here's the problem with that. As a new mom, you are completely and utterly overwhelmed as it is. You have a million things to do all day, every day. And what I have developed in terms of Fit Mama has been as a result pure result of the questions that I get asked and the experiences I have had and the mums that I have trained and that's pretty much we just want to come to your class do a workout that you have organized sweat work out see our mates babies are with us and then go we don't want to have a yet another thought process yet another thing to think about so there are a ton of people out there mums busy, busy, busy mums who are, who are really, they're scrolling through YouTube for an example. They're scrolling through again, 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 trying to find, oh, what do I fancy doing today? What's my workout going to be today? Oh, I don't know if I fancy doing a hit session. Oh, I think I'll do a bar session. So what we did in Fit Mama is we created three hit workouts. This is for the hit program. We created three workouts. We gave each workout three different durations, so 20, 30, 45 minutes, and we gave three different levels, beginner, intermediate, advanced. So if you're a beginner, you can go and have a look and say, okay, I'm gonna do the beginner 20 minute session of the accumulator. So you go on, you do the accumulator, you do that three times a week if you want to get yourself into the habit, to understand the exercises, and just to get yourself started. Then you decide, okay, I'm going to go up to the 30 minute zone and I want to go up to intermediate. So you do the accumulator 30 minute zone um, and uh, the, the um, intermediate session. So, you, you, you know, you're progressing every single time. So there are two, there are two ways I can, can give you advice in terms of your fitness. Either you do that where you're carving out, I would say three times per week for a hit session. I wouldn't do any more than three times per week. Maybe set aside, for an example, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 20-minute um, hit session each day, and I'm going to progress or dance around between beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then switch up which one of the three workouts, the three themes that Michelle has produced, okay? That's what I would suggest. If you genuinely turn around and say, I honestly don't have 20 minutes, I don't have it, that it doesn't exist in my life, then I would say to you, okay, in that case, 10 minutes per day, every day. Now, in a, in a seven day period, I would probably say, okay, take a day of rest if you want, but 10 minutes per day is nothing, that's absolutely nothing. But you need to get super, super slick. 
You need to have a one minute warm up. So your warm up has to be pretty spot on that you can warm up enough in a minute that, that will help you for an eight minute core session and then one minute at the end to stretch. You cannot drop a warm up and the stretch. You cannot. It's absolutely compulsory on anything that you do. You must warm up and you must stretch. The reason being is if you don't do these two things to bookend your workout, you are going to pick up probably an injury, sore muscles, and then your muscle fatigue is going to be much quicker and your recovery post um, workout is going to take much longer. The stretching is to help your muscles. It's a TLC. It's to say thanks very much for that, for that workout. And if your eight minute zone is a hit session where you've got burpees, mountain climbers, push-ups, squat thrusts, really hardcore exercises. If you've not warmed your body up for that and got your joints ready, your muscles ready, your body ready, your psych ready, you're you're really primed for an injury. And I do not, do not, do not, do not um, agree with that at all. You must fit that in. So you've got a 10 minute zone, one minute for a quick warm up, eight minute zone, one minute for a quick stretch. And you can obviously with the bookends, you can make them longer if you need to. So you've got 10 minutes and I would suggest then you do 10 minutes every single day without fail, no excuses. And then you can say to yourself, OK, how am I going to fit that in? Now, if it's a 10 minute zone, I'll be brutally honest, I would not in a 10 minute zone uh, carve out any time in my lunch hour. So if I was a back to work mum and I was back in, in an office or in a work environment, never in a million years at lunchtime would I say I'm going to go out and do my 10 minute session now. And the reason being is that the palaver of leaving your desk, getting your sports clothes on, getting yourself out the office for the sake of 10 minutes, for me, isn't worth it. I would rather carve out half an hour and do a 20 minute zone at lunchtime, tick that box, and that goes back to my first suggestion, which is three times per week, 20, 30, or 45 minutes, three times weekly. If you've already discounted that and you've already decided my lunch hour doesn't exist for fitness, then 10 minutes per day, you have to fit in somewhere else. And I personally, if I was a back to work mum um, and I wasn't wearing fitness clothes all day, I don't think my lunch hour would be spent doing that. I think it's too much of a palaver to do that. So then you've got to think, OK, is it before work? Um, is it after work? Is it a morning session, an evening session? What is it? And that then becomes absolutely critical. Now, anybody that is not back to work and that they are um, a stay-at-home mom, which is work, but not paid, usually. So if you're a stay-at-home mom, but you still don't have time, so maybe this isn't your first child, or maybe you're looking after um, somebody else in the home, or for whatever reason, your day is just jam-packed, that's okay, we get that. What I would suggest in that case is find 10 minutes somewhere around your day and stick to it. Now, usually mums would say, well, OK, I'm going to do it when the baby naps. And I'm kind of mixed with that because my view on that is, depending on how much sleep you're actually getting, this nap time that your baby's taking, especially if it's for a good hour, hour, hour and a half, um, I would be saying you should sleep too. Um, you could easily do a 10 minute session with a, an awake baby. So your baby could be sitting on a chair, uh, sitting on a little baby chair, could be lying on a mat, could be doing anything but awake and that's when you do your workout so that the baby's awake you're doing your workout it, it's seamless so when the baby does sleep if you need to grab that time to have a, a siesta yourself then you've still got that option um you must take care of your body especially in the early days postpartum where you need your rest as well so option one is three times per week hit sessions carve out the time 20 30 or 45 minutes and then the second option is little and often, 10 minute sessions every single day, alternate one day hit session, next day abs and um, ass, next day core work, next day full body, next day hit session, whatever it may be. And that's my top tips for how to, to get it involved and get it into your life. Um, I hope that's helped. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to get back in touch and you can leave comments below. Um, good luck.